Hi, this is Amy from realenglishconversations.com where we're working with people to help improve their speaking fluency and confidence so that they can communicate in any situation. And this is actually going to be the focus of the video today. I want to talk about goals and why so many people have a goal of speaking just like a native speaker. What I just said one second ago probably sounded pretty good to you. Being able to speak confidently and fluently in any situation. And to let you know, this is my goal with the language that I've been learning, which is Spanish. Right now, I'm able to speak confidently with people in my daily living situation. For those of you that don't know, Curtis and I moved from Canada to Mexico about two and a half years ago. But when we go out into the real world, a lot of the people only speak Spanish, especially when we're dealing with daily things like, you know, you need to have internet service in your home or hire somebody to do some work around your house or something like that. You need to communicate with these people in their language. I'm living in their country. I don't expect them to know English. So I do my best to communicate in Spanish with them. Most of the time I do pretty well. Sometimes, for example, if I'm talking to the mechanic, I don't know all of the terms related to a car yet. Or if I'm trying to explain something, I feel like I'm missing a little bit of vocabulary. And I probably don't use all of the colloquial words that the local people use. But at the end of the day, I'm able to communicate with this person. I don't feel stupid. I feel confident while I'm communicating with them and everything is fine. So for me, I'm actually really, really happy with that sort of communication. I'm not disappointed with myself. I don't have this crazy goal where I expect to know every single word that a native speaker knows, every expression that has ever existed in all of Mexican history. I don't know if that's possible. And, you know, using everything that maybe people would use on the streets or I don't know. For me, that expectation, it doesn't seem very reasonable to have for myself. And also speaking with a perfect accent every time just like I was born here in Mexico. For me, I'm not Mexican. I think the Mexican culture is great. I think that the Spanish language is awesome, but I am Canadian. That's okay. I'm proud to be Canadian. And if someone can tell that I'm not from Mexico because of the way that I speak, oh, I can hear a little bit of an accent. I think this person speaks English, you know, based on how I look and maybe they can hear a familiar sound of how an English speaking person speaks their language. But for me, that's not a bad thing. And I recognize that in my own culture, I also find foreign people to be really, really interesting. Let's take away the um, judgment of any level within the language. Let's pretend that you have a similar level to me in English. I meet you in Canada and we're talking together. We're having a good conversation. We're laughing at different stories and telling jokes and things like that. Are you going to feel at the end of that conversation like, oh, I really need to improve my English. It was terrible. My accent is horrible. I didn't have perfect fluency. I hope that's not how you feel because when I walk away from the conversation, I'm probably going to say, that person was really cool. It was really interesting to hear about their story, who they are, how they got to Canada, and that they're living here doing whatever it is that they're doing. So when I meet foreign people, your accent tells me you're not from Canada. And that makes me curious, where are you from? And it can be the start of a conversation or something like that. I don't think that you're embarrassed of your culture or where you're from, what your heritage is. And you can think of your accent as a way where people will identify that difference and probably want to know more about you. But it's a different way of thinking that not a lot of people really think about. So 
If you sound just like a native speaker, let's pretend I sound just like a native speaker, and I go out onto the street and I have a, I don't know, an interaction with somebody, what's going to happen? They're probably going to be like, hmm, that person must have been born in Mexico or raised in a bilingual family or something like that. And that's it. The curiosity probably isn't there, where if I don't speak exactly perfect, it's kind of a um, way to start a conversation. So I don't know. I'll let you guys decide what you think it means to sound just like a native speaker. Maybe you can leave a comment below and tell me why you want to sound like a native speaker. What is the benefit for you compared to being able to communicate in the language confidently and just communicate. That's what the language is for. It's not for perfection. It's for communication. So maybe you can tell me what for you the benefit is to sound just like a native speaker. For me, I know that it's not worth the work. For the thousands of hours that I'll have to spend working on my accent, criticizing myself for my errors, and just learning, 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 learning. No thanks. I'd rather learn a new, la uh, new language to the same level that I've learned Spanish for that same amount of time. I think that um, it's almost like a punishment trying to reach perfection in something instead of just looking at the real value of what it can bring you to be able to communicate in another language. So if you really liked this video and you think that you could maybe adjust your level a little bit away from perfection to being able to communicate confidently, I would really encourage you to come to our website at realenglishconversations.com. We have some great lessons there. Make sure that you join us as a free member and get subscribed to our email list because we send out excellent lessons that can really help you to improve your speaking and your listening skills so that you can get to the level that I have right now and enjoy the English language with people like me when you meet them. We'll see you next time. Thank you.